We are back with the fabulous Grammy Award winning songwriter, producer, um, 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 pastor. Are you an author yet? Are you an author? Uh, coming soon, probably before the year's out. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, this man just wears so many hats until, you know, we just can't keep up with him. You've worked with some of the best too. I mean, the late Aretha Franklin, um, Stevie Wonder. Uh, you worked with, of course, Snoop Dogg. I mean, well, I don't know. What did you do with Snoop Dogg? You, you I like to explain those. When you say work with, like for instance, Aretha Franklin did the Chicago Theater mm -hmm. and Thomas Whitfield was the musical director. Okay. And Tommy, who is one of my best, closest friends, as he says, Darius, I need you to come down and assist me. I can't get in there till the day of the concert. So you're going to uh, organize the choir and teach them the stuff until I get in there, Thomas okay. Whitfield. And so working with Aretha, uh, I really didn't, really didn't see her or meet her until Thomas Whitfield got there. Mm. So now she was there watching how the rehearsal was going, the whole night, and so after the rehearsal went, then he introduced me to Aretha, and that's when I, I met her. Well, you, know, you did the it, work. I, you did the work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's how my <laughs> saying I work with Aretha okay. took place. It was before Fred Nelson and Richard Gibbs, hey. because, of course, the, those are my two comrades, and they've done an amazing job with Aretha. But I was doing that before they technically got with her. If they can go back and do your research on the Chicago Theater when Aretha Franklin was there, with Thomas Whitfield, they'll not, it all makes sense then. And Stevie Wonder, of course, uh, Reverend Jackson does his uh, birthday events every year at the Beverly Wilshire in Los Angeles. It's from him to George Duke to some of the greatest artists that I'm like in awe of. I was always Milton, I mean, Reverend Jackson's musical director for his events. Mm -hmm. So when I say I've worked with, performed with, or done something with, that's what I mean. So it could be legitimate and true. So Stevie Wonder came one day and a, 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 a Reverend, Bron Reverend Jackson is a funny man. Of course, he's my mentor, but he would always throw me in front of people and say, listen to this. And then I used to do Living for the City uh, for, for Rainbow Push. So the fun times is how we've been able to work with those kind of people. And then I was just in, um, uh, uh, for the uh, the 100 year, uh, that thing in, uh, um, it's right on top of my tongue. Uh, NAACP? Uh, um, no, it, it just happened. Uh, 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 it, it was in Jesus. I cannot believe this is on the tip of my tongue. It was the 100 year, uh, uh, something, I'll remember, I'll get back to it, but uh, uh, they, I was there with Reverend and, um, um, uh, girl, I remember. I, it's just something it? to my right now. Do you know where but it was? It was in, um, girl, I've been traveling so much, I forget what? that state. It's crazy. Um, um, Carlton Pearson. Uh, uh, not Ethan, a Zusa. Not a Zusa. No, he, what area he's from. Oh! Oh, yes, yes. Um, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tulsa, he, the Tulsa massacres. Yes, the that Tulsa right massacres. There. The Tulsa. I remember seeing you with President <laughs> Biden. Like, the world. I remember so seeing I you with President with Biden Reverend, and all that. Yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. I, I was you. with I was down there with Reverend Jackson yes, yes. and down there for that event. And so, uh, uh just uh, uh, the experience of being with these artists and singing and uh, uh is, is how my uh relationship has developed with singing with some of those major artists. Ramsey Lewis did a CD and he called me and said, Darius, I want you to write a song for my CD. It was here in Chicago. It was with myself and Smokey Norfolk and it's called Healed Heart mm -hmm. and it's on his CD and it was playing on the radio. So these people, Hezekiah Walker, uh, let the Redeemer of the Lord say, Lord, send your spirit down, focus on glory. Mm -hmm. Ricky Dillon, I've come that you may have life, Lord, yeah. Lord, sent Lord. Send, uh, uh, if you miss me from singing, I hear that's the promise. Uh, all of those songs um, that I was able to be a, a part of gospel history to assist them. Uh, Shirley Caesar, uh, uh, um, uh, I'll never forget, uh, she came to Chicago, my godfather, uh, uh, um, Bootsy, we call him Bootsy, but his name is Ellis Price, Pentecostal House of Prayer, and she came to Chicago, and she, she was putting together Hold My Mule. And uh, and she said, "Dears, I got this song. I just got to put some music to it." And she came to the church, 
And Shirley Caesar is a beast. She's so there amazing. I love her. And uh, and she, I went to the organ. We came with my my godparents had a restaurant called Ernie's Restaurant, yes. and so the church was right across the street. Okay. So Shirley Caesar came right across the street. We went over there and just started rehearsing. My godfather was so ecstatic because I would bring everybody to the restaurant. Mm. Uh, he cut Michael Jordan's hair, Scottie Pippen, Horace uh, Grant, uh, 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 um, all of them uh, can literally call me by name coming to the restaurant with Ellis Price and Ernestine Price, and her soul food restaurant. Ernestine was my godmother who paid, basically raised me. That's another story. Oh, wow. So we would go across the street and Shirley sees, I would bring all of them to the restaurant. My godfather was a quartet head. So he loved the Williams brothers, Shirley sees okay. So all of them would come, Melvin them. And he'd be like, he bring all these people to this restaurant. <laughs> I love them so, and bless their heart, they're both have passed on the deceased Ellis Price and Emerson Price. Price. But mm -hmm. Shirley Caesar came over and said, I got this song. And she went to telling the story about Hold My Mule. And I just went to the music. Dun, 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 in the meat. Dun, 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 dun. So I put the, the music with that with her. And then she came up with Hold My Mule, Born Again, Never. A never, just a never. Yeah, so I'm, yeah, I I, I'm excited. Yeah, just the contribution that I've been blessed. I tell real honest stories that you know it's not made up it's not anything like that so that uh, uh, Reverend Jackson always told me you better write your own story don't let nobody else write it so these are truths and honest places and experiences that I've been a part of and I'm, I'm really honestly honored uh, to have been a part of gospel's history and now uh, putting the well, go ahead girl because I'm just going ahead of myself you haven't been a part you are a part you're still yeah, a part relevant back, yeah. Thank you. of gospel Thank you. again like i said honey we still playing your music i mean if that <laughs> doesn't speak testaments and volumes i mean think about it yeah. there are so many songs that just i mean you've heard one hit wonders <laughs> you've heard yeah. how a song you know you may know it you know this week but 10 days or 10 years from now who what yeah. what song yeah. was that <laughs> no no we ain't saying that about your music we're still <laughs> playing it Wow, we're no, no, you're part, you are a active and relevant <laughs> part of Thank you, music. Thank you. Yes, Darius Thank Brooks you. is. Hey, but let me ask you something real quick. Uh, you said Aretha Franklin, Thomas Whitfield. Now, was that just a one time only when uh, she was uh, performing in Chicago theater or did she work with him on a regular basis, Thomas Whitfield? Um, I know her, Thomas Whitfield and Aretha had a great relationship and he worked with her often. That was a one time moment for me with that whole experience with him and her. Thomas Whitfield and Aretha was close. So, but you, oh, wouldn't yeah. think that, you wouldn't think that, I mean, even though I know her background was gospel, but I mean, mm -hmm. again, she had to, uh, you know, emerged into the queen of soul by then. And you just wouldn't think that she was working, even though Thomas oh, my was great. Thomas oh, was no, no. Great. Actually, her, 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 Thomas Whitfield and Aretha relationship is like uh, Richard Smallwood and Roberta um, Flack. Uh, Robert, yeah, right. Roberta Flack. Um, they they like close. They are really close. As a matter of fact, when mm. Thomas Whitfield passed away and Aretha was still working, Aretha would call Rudolph Stanfield. Wow. <laughs> because he his relationship with Thomas and their their way of playing and singing was similar. So she knew that, that Rudolph Stanfield would be close to Thomas Whitfield in reference of what she was looking for. Um, Aretha had, I mean, just knowing and understanding and doing study on her, Aretha was an amazing, very unique mm -hmm. artist and person. I'll never forget traveling with Jesse Jackson to go see her in uh, Indiana. And of course, wherever Reverend was, I was honored to be by his side. Mm -hmm. And I will never forget Reverend would always say, just come on, come on. I've traveled the world and places I've, I'd never go on my own with Reverend Jesse Jackson and Milton Bronson. I've been to places I couldn't have never been on my own. I mean, around the world. I've met artists from secular to gospel because of these opportunities that I've had. We went to Indiana and we drove up. I'll never forget this Reverend say, come on. The Reverend would just grab me and right off the rainbow push, we'd get on the plane oh, wow. and go to South Africa and I'd buy clothes there. I, there were moments I had to keep clothes in the back of my car on Saturday because I would call the Reverend say, ready. keep a suitcase ready. It's so true, <laughs> Effie. It's so true. Because Saturday he'd say, come on, let's go. And I'd be gone three and four days. I mean, over seats. 
I would keep my passport. And I knew this, and Deborah knew it too. I would say, baby, I'm going with him. I'll be in uh, 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 South Africa for till Wednesday. And she'd be like, oh, Jesus. But, 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 but they knew each other. And Aretha Franklin was, you'd be surprised the people that she was close to that you would have no clue. Aretha Franklin would do musicals every year in Detroit without it being advertised and bring in artists mm. to her thing. And she knew great ta gift and talent and Reverend Jackson did too. Uh, so she was an amazing woman. And the more I do study on her, my response is yours too. Wow, I never knew that. So Thomas Whitfield and her were really, they were close. Yeah. Have you seen and when you respect, go ahead, finish, go ahead. No, no, I'm going. Uh, Deb and I is going uh, uh, to see it uh, uh, either today or tomorrow or Monday. We're trying to kind of sort of figure this out. You know, Dosh is in college. It is yes. a lot going on with me right now. Oh, my goodness. It's a, yeah, and I'm so excited. And Honors College. <sighs> Honors College. We, and, and we talk every day. I make sure I text her and talk every day. And we're going to talk every day until okay. she get out of college. So that connection and that relationship will be there. She's she's awesome. She's independent. She she's uh, So it's a lot on my plate right now, even with pastoring. Uh, new paradigm, and you said something that was so true. Effie, every next level demands a different kind of you. Mm. Effie, we don't change, we mature. Yes. Yeah, we we don't change. We mature because if we change, we change who God made. Okay. That okay. nose you have is the same nose you had when you were 17. But it's been through a lot of colds and <laughs> sinuses and then, but it's the same nose, the same heart, the same lips, the same ears. Okay. Change, but we mature. Mm -hmm. And we get better with things, thoughts, ideas, opinions, and life and heart. So with that being said, understanding and really studying and knowing people in places, when you say, I never knew that about Thomas Whitfield and Aretha Franklin, that's where I am now in awe of how God ultimately brings all of us as individuals to our Okay, we're breaking up again. And, we're breaking uh, up again. Uh, that's because this is a good interview. This is a good interview. That's the why. blood of Jesus. You're right. It is. And yeah, it's like, yes, a good interview. But every next level demands a different kind of you mm -hmm. so that you can go to that next place that you're designed to be. And that's when you say it when you pastor. It is so true because ever since I've been pastoring, Effie, You've been, I've I'm seen the maturity level. I've seen yeah, the growth. Yes. And the even me, I just I see things differently. Because I study now the word of God will be like, wow, I never looked at it like that. Mm. So, so what you get into, what you do over and over, you get good at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, You can also get good at not maturing. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, I, I, That's I, not good. Yeah, I often share with people what's worse than waiting on God is wishing you had. Mm. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, and you and I are here, and those that's under our voice, we hear right now in this moment, those that can hear us on this interview, because God has a plan for us, for real, for real. Mm -hmm. And we should have learned by now that all of the things, people, and places that we thought was going to get us there mm -hmm. didn't, haven't, but they were conduits and resources to where we're going. Mm. And if we could utilize that good information, then you know you on your way. You just can't call it, but it's gonna happen. Hallelujah! You gotta see those things as not that are not as though they are. How many years has it been since you've been pastoring? So it'll be our thirteenth year anniversary, April nineteenth. Wow! Yeah, yeah. Did you and have so any much idea that you'd be no. Pastoring? That's that's why I wrote. Your will is what's best for me. Mm. I know what I want, but I want it your way. Mm. And here's what I was doing before I was pastoring. I was going places speaking as a minister. I was doing workshops. Mm. I was doing quiet concerts. Pastors would call me in to do workshops for their church, their ministers of music, their choirs. Okay. I will be a part of church's anniversary, the special guest, Aaron Brooks. And God spoke to me and says, if you don't 
create your gift to come to you, you'll continually have to chase it. Mm. Okay. So when God gives you revelation, he gives you revelation on a foundation that will never go away. Say it again. If you don't, if you don't create your gift to come if, if to you, you if you don't create what you do to come to you, you will continually have to chase it. In other words, if you don't, it's kind of sort of like you created your own talk show now mm. with Effie. Although Urban Radio Station is the conduit, Clear Channel was the conduit. Move hard radio. Hard, yeah. hard radio. Mm -hmm. yeah. At the end of the day, Effie creating Effie Rolf radio says that it has to be at some point where she is the voice and the face. Mm -hmm. And now that everybody know Effie, all of the conduits and resources now come to Effie by what she's built going to them. Now she created it all to come to her. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now you get sponsors for Effie. That way, when God sets you up, mm -hmm. no one can take you down because it's yours now. Amen. I love it. <laughs> All those things that are not, honey, as though they are, speak it. Speak yes. it, honey. I love it. <laughs> Darius, or Pastor Brooks, forgive me for, you know, forgive me for not it's, calling it's, no, you No, no, it's okay, because you, you and I, it's okay, you and I are friends. But yeah. I want to give honor you to whom honors do. <laughs> and you I already, I already know that. Pastor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, but I'm so used to you, right, being in the music field. Um, but tell me this, what, as a pastor, um, talk to people, give us a, a, maybe a couple of sentences or so, words of encouragement about what folks have been through, what they're going through, what this country is going through in terms of division, in terms of unrest. I mean, it's, you look at, sometimes I'm going to tell you the truth, pastor, I have to stop looking at the news. Cause it just, it gets depressing. So, um, but just talk to people who like, feel like giving up. They feel like it's, it's been so crazy. When will it end? Encourage somebody as a pastor. Okay. Wonderfully, one of the things I want to make sure that's clear is that God is not changing, period. And however we're going to win, overcome, get to or through, we got to understand God's language as individuals. After you said something that was so true, you used the word, word the world. Mm. Well, God specifically tells us as single individually believers, be in the world, but not, not of up. the world. Well, let me tell you what he's saying. He's saying, stop trying to fix the world. Mm. Watch this. Effie, whenever God is saying something, please hear what he's saying that he's not saying. When God says, when the word of God says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He's also saying that, that, that he's not saying is if you're wanting, then I'm not your shepherd. Mm, I like that. Well, it's true. So when he says, the Lord is my shepherd, when the word of God says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Mm -hmm. When the word of God is a mirror, I know what's happening in the world, but because I don't look at the word through the world, I look at God's word. And if he's my shepherd and I'm his sheep, then I have direction. Mm -hmm. No, no, the people of God, for real, for real. So if the word of God is really our place as believers, Mm -hmm. then this is what we do. I know what you heard, but this is what we do literally as individuals first and then corporately if we're like minds. Because Effie, to some people, God is just a name. Mm -hmm. And then to some, he's everything. Mm -hmm. You have to figure out where you are and who you are in this context. Because the word of God clearly says, I know who they say I am. Who do you but, say I am? So now it speaks to Darius. And when Effie's reading it, it speaks to you. Here's where it hits differently. 
when I know what the word of God says to me, I said to Grace Central Sunday, when you know who you are in God, be careful because you're going to offend some people. And let me tell you how. Okay. When I do what God say do, and you want to control me by what you have and what you can give to me, and I don't do that, then you will blackball me and not pay me and tell somebody else I'm hard to work with. Yep. God says, well, I know who they say I am, but who do you say I am, Darius? I said, well, you are my source. You says you are my, my, the steps of me are ordered by you. He says, thank you. And you also told me that some planted, some watered, but you get the increase. He says, good. Then I know what he told you. And yes, he got some money. And yes, he got some position. And yes, maybe he could do some things, but I'm your source because your promotions don't come from him. Your mm -hmm. promotions come from me. I'll let him be in that place for a minute. But when I give you your due season, don't you worry, he'll be moved because if I'm going to put you on that platform, I have to put somebody there to receive you. Amen. I love it. So uh, when the word of God becomes a mirror to us as individuals first, it hits differently this world situation. It hits differently the pandemic situation. When people say, oh my goodness, people are dying everywhere. People of God, duh. I said, duh. The <laughs> word of God says, so a man liveth, so shall he die. Die. It's right here. So the issue is not about people dying. The issue is, hey, Darius, yes, God, I've come that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. Let me be God and you trust me for your life. Because if I keep, I'm going to shout, if, if I keep you in perfect peace, uh -huh. you have to stop interfering with my sovereignty. Mm. Amen. Amen. Did you catch that piece? Keep you, if I want to, basically, if I want to stay in perfect peace, don't worry about what's happening around me. I mean, pray, Just, or be cognizant of it. But trust but God's my steps mind on Jesus. For his steps for me. Mm. It's, it's so much clearer for me there than to try to control what's happening in the world. Amen. And when he says, I will keep you, keep you, keep you, keep you, Effie, he says, I'm not a man that I should lie. He's saying, I'm not a man. I'm the word of God. And if you trust what I say, you're going to see these things. But though you're troubled on every side, you're not distressed. Hallelujah. Perplexed, but not in despair. Yes. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast, cast down, but not. Why? Because I utilize God's word in everything I do for real. Watch this. So I won't be burdened down with the cares of the world. Because, honey, they will burden you down. They really will. It's, watch this. It's designed through the word of God to where you are. Watch this. Effie, I'm going to run you about, you about blessing me. I talked on the other day about yielding to temptation. Mm -hmm. Watch this. People think temptation is sex or another man or another woman. People think temptation is food. It's F gambling. <laughs> yeah, right. Watch this. Temptation is that that's on the inside of you that exposes who you really are. Effie, mm. check this out. Watch this. Temptation is what's on the inside of you that simply exposes who you really are. In other words, the piece of cake is not the temptation. The temptation is my choice to either pass or fail in context of my choice. Mm. So temptation says, Darius, yeah, they go a lemon piece of cake. You, you're trying to get some weight down. So temptation says, what's on the inside of you that's going to pass or fail? So temptation is the, the choice or the blessing of God's word on the inside of us that tells us what to do about that situation. It's not the cake. It's not the sex. It's not the person. It's not the craziness. It's what's on the inside of you that whatever choice you make, it makes you pass or fail. Mm. The temptation is a choice. Okay. Isn't so that crazy amazing? 
It is. It is. So you, I mean, uh, yeah. Every day you choose. You choose. You choose life. Or Watch you this. So, if, but I'm gonna bless you because if you choose to let the weight of the world bother you, you're yielding to temptation. Mm, that makes sense. Got to keep my mind safe. Ross says, I want the world to be better. And it's killing me because it ain't. Well, guess what you just did? You made a choice mm. to yield to what you can't control. Okay. If we go to what we just talked about, the word of God says, hey, there is, hey, Effie, or whoever's under my voice, if you're in God's word, he says, I know what you're saying, but are you going to pay attention to that? Or are you going to trust me so I can get you through this? Here's what happens when you trust God. Mm -hmm. We're not in the world, Effie, but we create a world mm -hmm. where God becomes our source. I love it. I love so it. if I don't worry and Effie don't worry, when I call you on the phone, hey, we're going to lunch at 12. Okay. Yeah, it's shooting all like, well, let's not go there. We're going the other side, but we still going to lunch mm. because we don't worry about what's around us. We create a world that we can have life and then more abundantly, the steps of a good man are ordered of the Lord, which wow. means in a crazy world, there's some steps that God tells us to make. Watch this, Epi, that even in a crazy message, he sends a clear message. Mm, I love it. I love it. I love it. Which is his word, which has always been here. And his it ain't going nowhere. Get in the word, stick with the word, stand on the word. I mean, be in the word, just the word. You can't go that, wrong that, with the word. That, 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 that's it. And that's when it hit differently versus being in church and in the word because it literally creates... Yeah. A life change. Amen. For real, for real. And it's not that you better, better than or bigger than. It's not that you're so religious. It's that you've made up your mind that if this thing going to work, it better be this way. Because mm. the other ways that we've tried ain't going to work. Mm. Every you got prejudiced people in church. You got prejudiced people that in are the pastors. Pulpit. In the pulpit. That's my oh. point. Not a, wait. Not a criticism. Observation. Yes, and observation. Yes. Yeah. When you criticize, you miss a lot. When you observe, you get a lot. And if you pay attention, this is not judging. It's just the truth. The word of God says many are called. Few are chosen. And those I chose are qualified, justified, sanctified. What he means by that is those that are chosen keep God in his perspective, which means. Wait, wait. Okay. That's okay which means they have compassion for people. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I know what the enemy, he know there's some good stuff. <laughs> and the enemy rides on, watch this, the enemy rides on the heel of our breakthroughs. Amen. We're talking to Darius yeah. Brooks, the pastor. Pastor Darius yeah. Brooks of yeah. Great yeah. Central yeah. Church, 12 and a half years of pastor. Amen. And you, again, I love, you know, the information and the wisdom you share. I mean, you talk like this when people call you on the phone. I mean, you will yeah. really give a semi sermon <laughs> yeah, yeah. on the phone. So I really, I mean, you can tell that it's in you. The word is in you. You know what I'm saying? But Effie, it's, but it's also to remind us that this is what we do if we're for real about it. This is true. No, Effie, I, all I remind people is that if, if this is what we, Effie, if we're believers, this is what we do. This is our direction. This is our GPS, our God mm. positioning system. I love it. I love it. If I not only if this is what we do, if we're believers, this, this is why we do it. He's our savior. Effie, he's our protector. Effie, he's our healer. Effie, he renews our minds, our thoughts. He's Thank a soul you. saver. He's a heart fixer. Yes, this he is, is who he is. Hallelujah. And if we're dealing with hurt, he's a healer. If we're dealing with being burdened, he's a burden lifter. If our hearts are heavy, he reminds us, hey, guard that heart of yours. Mm. So I just remind people, because Effie, what I'm saying ain't new to you. It's not. You almost quoted every scripture I said that was relatable to what you asked me. What do you do about this world? Oh, I 
reminded you was be in it, but don't be. Don't be of it. And don't try to fix it. That's God's problem. Amen. And now we can be careful. We can be that, careful. Yeah. And, and when I understand that, I stay focused on his navigation for me. And if there's something for me to do, I'll do it. But I stay focused. Seek ye first. First seek ye how God want you to do you. Mm -hmm. Is God me? Me, Deborah, and Dasha, family. God founded the church on the family. Mm -hmm. Then it's me, Deb, Dasha, and Grace Central. I create a Grace Central family who love me. Hello. Here it is. Can you see me? Okay. Um, no, I just see iPhone. I see the iPhone. I can hear you, but I can't Hold see on. you. That, see, there you go again. Honey, the, the, you know, but thank God he's in control. And I mean, you are giving us, you always give us a word and we definitely appreciate it. Uh, again, Darius Brooks, singer, songwriter, composer, um, soon to be author, uh, pastor. And should, should I say Grammy award winning? Hello, got to put that there. Got to give honor to whom honor is due. But we've been loving you such a long time. And again, pastor of Grace Central. I'm pretty sure that if people... Uh, go to the church. They will hear this and more on Sunday mornings. And I think, what is your service? Uh, do you have Bible Bible nights or Bible study nights? Pastor, can you hear me? Oh, he's gone. Okay. All right. We had a little disconnection uh, with Pastor Brooks, uh, but um, man, we got to continue this again, y'all. We've got to continue with Pastor Darius Brooks. Hopefully he'll come back in. I don't know. Uh, but we're having a little technical difficulty, but it's been so great talking to him, uh, just talking about the music industry and later on, as we were this past few minutes, talking about him as Darius Brooks, the pastor of Grace Central Church over in Westchester, Illinois, where he, uh, he's been pastoring and serving for almost 13 years. Uh, that'll be coming up in March and his lovely wife, Deborah, who is, okay, I think he's back again, hallelujah, is the first lady and his daughter, Dasha, and the entire church. Uh, wow. Again, Darius Brooks, uh, I think he's joining us again. Thank you. Okay. I'm, okay. He's connecting. Um, I see audio, uh, but we're still waiting to see your, your face because we want people to see the man behind the face, uh, the, the man behind the music, the man in the pulpit that they're going to see every Sunday morning. Yes. When we go to Grace Central. Okay. Again, <laughs> thank you. I, know. I, was, I was explaining to folks we were having a little technical difficulty, but we're, we've been talking to Pastor Darius Brooks, who they will probably see and hear the same when they come to Grace Central. Right. Sunday it's morning. a relative, it's a relative word. Uh -huh. um, it, it really is that's doable and it's usable and we can use it in our everyday lives and every. So we're clear on making sense out of our steps and the promises mm -hmm. of God. Okay. It's relative. I've been through a lot in my life and I'm just here. You asked me, what can I do to inspire someone? Yes. I'm here to share somebody that when God says he'll bring you out of a darkness into a marvelous light, he's not lying. I've been molested and look at me, please. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> because, yeah, because God is so amazing that whatever you've been through doesn't define you. Hallelujah. What can define you confines you. Mm. So when God says, I'll make you free, then he gives you information on your situation that brings revelation for your elevation so you can reach your destination with the confirmation while never losing inspiration for real. So when you see me, Milton Bronson has died. Mm -hmm. My mother have died. My father have died. I had a brother six months after my mother that have died. And then two mm -hmm. sisters in the same year, mm -hmm. God let die. So when I'm sharing this with you, this is not just talk that someone's talking about. I'm here to inspire you as Effie just told me, what do you do when you up against the odds or when the world is crazy? I'm here to share with you that God is a promise keeper, but it's articulated that if any man be in Christ, mm, he's a new creation. He is a new creation. Mm. All things, and when he says things okay. in Hebrew, wait a minute, Effie. When God says things, he means thoughts. Mm. 
in Hebrew, things mean thoughts. When I start studying God's word, when I start pastoring, I got a different revelation of his word. There's a difference from scripture and his word, Effie. He says, search the scriptures for, and then ye think ye have eternal life, oh, which right. means people study scripture and they're not happy. They're not free. He says, the words that I speak, they are spirit and life unto the soul. So God's scripture turned into the word and the word turns into information and the information turns into transformation, mm, I love it. which means now you create that world that you and I was talking about around the right kind of people. Because the people in the world are not changing, but you create the kind of people that you can trust, that you don't have to look over your shoulder with. You don't have to worry about buying friendships or kissing behind to get there. God says, don't you do that because the 10 people that don't like you, I got 10 that does. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you said share something with them that will inspire them, this is the word that tells us, y'all, we can do this for real, for real. For real, for real. But you got to really be honest with yourself. You don't have to change you. Just be honest with you. Because I'm going to tell you a secret that I've learned. Mm -hmm. When I say we don't change, we mature. Effie, I'm still the same crazy Darius. <laughs> but I've matured because it's some things I just won't go back to. It's some mature things that I've learned that I've outgrown that. And I often tell people, whoever comes into your life and they haven't seen you and talked to you in seven, 10 to 15 years, they don't know you anymore. Mm. I like that. You know, Donald Lawrence, uh, uh, it was so funny. Uh, and he did this, I'm sure, just in jest, but it was kind of serious too. But he put a post a couple of years ago. He said, if I act different and you haven't seen me I think what in seven years, he said, don't worry because it was something like, because I think the body changes every, how many years, seven or eight? You, you're not the body, like not and the he body. he was saying, so if I act different, it's just that I'm sure. <laughs> it's yeah, but but, it's but what, what he's really saying is he's matured. <laughs> right. Watch this, because he's still down alarms uh -huh. and he can't change that. All of the work he's done, that's down alarms. Uh -huh. All of the work I've done, um, that's Darius Brooks. Safe in his arms, all that stuff. Milton Bronx Thomas. What we do do, and that's why I'm very careful with words. I'm a studier of words now, which has changed my life forever. Mm -hmm. I am still Darius, but I've matured. There's some things I don't do no more. Mm -hmm. There's some places or there's some experiences, opportunities, or things I've done that was me, but that's not who I am now because I've matured. Amen. Yeah. So. Okay, hold on. The transformation. Effie, you're not, you still Effie Roth when you was 15. You're just a mature one. Thank God. <laughs> That's my point. And so when God says, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, he means that renew your thoughts so that you could be a mature you, a better you, a more secure you a more wiser you. You're still you, but you've matured. Amen, amen. And because that change confuses maturity. Mm -hmm. Change goes against the word of God. The mm -hmm. word of God says, I fearfully and wonderfully made you. I know who you are. If we change, then we're not who God made us. Okay, okay. Yeah. So he made me Darius, April 30th, 1963. Mm -hmm. All of the things I've done, that's who I was. Mm -hmm. But now what I'm doing now is who I am. I'm still Darius, but I've matured. And once they understand it from that perspective, it's easier for them not to see us the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, they see us as, yeah. And if we can teach it and articulate it, where people can grow with us, then they don't have to trip on us. But everybody ain't ready and everybody not even trying to. So you're not even worried about You got it. it. You got to stay on you. point, stay with your mission. And just and like, whoever will, right let there. them come. Almost yeah. like the song you sang earlier. It's like, I thought it was for the church. I thought it was for, who, you know, but it's for say, whoever will come. You, you've been listening. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
it's for whoever will come. And it's like, you know, God bless you. I love you. Open up your heart. (laughs) Yeah. Who will open up your heart. Who will for real, for real desire to go to the next level. Because I often share with people, people of God, God is not going to force his way onto or in any of our lives. We have to open up and honestly say, God, I, I, I want your will for me. Yeah. Mm. And once we do that, that's when he comes in as a gentleman. One of the greatest gifts God has ever given us, Effie, is the gift of choice. Effie, he not taking our choice away. Mm. Gotta be willing. Watch this. Yeah, we, we, the gift of choice, you could choose whatever you want, but you cannot choose the consequences of your choices. And one of the gifts God has given us is a choice. People of God, if you want to drink and that's your choice, God is not going to take that choice away. That's the gift he's given you. Mm-hmm. And if you make up your mind, you want to stop drinking. That's a choice. God is not going to take that choice away from you. The drinking is just going to stop. Mm. But the choice is what he put in you to make decisions and choices for your life. Amen. Amen. Ain't that powerful? That is powerful. How can people hear? We're talking to Pastor Darius Brooks, Grace Central Church. He's been wearing his pastor hat the last, what, 20 20 minutes or so. But of course, still Pastor Darius Brooks, the songwriter, the singer, the musician, the producer, the Grammy Award winning music director. I don't know who all that is. Everything (laughs) else. Same same guy. Same guy that doesn't care. But how can people hear all these powerful, you know, words of wisdom and encouragement? Uh, Give us your church services. And when- Uh, Great Central. Yeah, Great Central, 102 16 South Kitchener Street, Westchester, Illinois. We have you five. Said that fast. I call it time. Like, What's that street again? Okay. Grace Central Church, 10216 South Kitchener Street, like Kitchen ER mm-hmm. Street, Westchester, Illinois. It's right off of 290 in Mannheim. It's really right in Chicago. People think it's in the suburb. It's just not. And we have services from seven to eight on Tuesdays. You can also see us YouTube on Grace Central at m4gracecentral.net. You can also Sundays at 1030 till noon. Same place, 10216 South Kitchener Street, Kitchen ER, Westchester, Illinois, Grace Central Church from 1030 till noon. We are out at noon, unless the spirit of God say different. And every Tuesday, and if you go to my Facebook page, I've been on this 28 day, five mile a day um, to commitment I've made to me. And I give topics and inspirations. My prayer is that you go and just visit those and listen to them for you. Effie and whoever's under my voice, this walk with God ain't going to make no sense until you make it a personal matter with you. Okay, I like that. And watch this. And whoever you are, get out of a relationship with God. Get out of a relationship. With God. Watch this. In relationships, sometimes we feel like a nut. And sometimes we don't. <laughs> Watch this. With a relationship with God, sometimes we go to church and trust him, and sometimes we don't. My recommendation to you that if you're going to allow God to be your source is that you make a covenant with him. Okay. Get into a covenant with God. Hear me well. A covenant does not move no matter what. Mm. So basically, you're making a vow. You're making a vow. You're yes. A commitment. Period with a T. Mm. Whether you feel like it or not, I'm going to do what God's words say. Whether I feel like it or not, I'm in covenant with Him, mm. just like He's in covenant with me. Mm. Good, bad, right, wrong, flaws, and all. That's why I articulate the word like this, Effie. He says, in all thy ways, say all. All. Uh Uh-uh. Effie, he meant that. He really, listen, (laughs) in the private place, often tell Grace Central, if you're going to go do something stupid, just pray on the way. (laughs) I love it. there, There will protect you. He says, in all thy ways, acknowledge me. W-A-Y-S. 
people of God, what do you think that means? Yes, it means in your crazy decisions and choices, in your infidelity, in your eating when you're trying to lose weight. He meant just what he said. He says, all I ask you do is to talk to me. Mm, and listen. Yes. And stop and listen. Yeah, he ain't judging that. you for what you're doing. All he has, trust me, with, uh, and and all your ways, W A Y S F E, mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, spiritually, socially, culturally, verbally, sexually, professionally, personally. He says, I just ask you to do one more. Just talk to me. And let me just show you. Okay. F E, I share with Grace Central. God is so amazing. He'll teach you how to do wrong right. Mm, mm. F E, it. it's true. He says, do all things decently and in order. Effie, if we put it together, it's crazy peace. <laughs> and for real in our everyday lives. And it's crazy because it's like, you know what? This is so simple, but so hard. Mm. Often we're in attendance, but more often than not, we never pay attention. Effie, Effie make a covenant with God. In relationship, you could be honest by not going to church. You could be honest, like, I don't feel like it. It's true. But he's not taking your choice away. Here's one thing I know for sure. And here's one thing I know you know for sure. God says, I am the Lord, and I change it. Not. not and I'm going ever. to be here whether you like it or not. That's a covenant to us. If we can make a covenant with God, every area of our lives will always be taken care of mm -hmm. because he says, I'm not a man that I should lie. And he says, watch this. I love this scripture. He says, for the blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich it and, and addeth no sorrow. None. But you got to try. No. None. None. And that's the place where I'm saying, even when we do our cray cray, just add God in it because he could protect us there. Sometimes he can detour the situation. And sometimes he can let you get in it to learn. Mm -hmm. This is true. Sometimes, often some of our situations, Effie is the scripture, for your trials only come to make you strong. But strong here means mature. You got to rightly divide God's word. Strong here means mature because he says the race isn't given to the swift nor the battle to the strong. But to, so this scripture in context means that it matures you when you make the wrong mistakes okay. and then you can go back and fix it. I love it. I love it. Pastor Darius Brooks, Grammy Award winning songwriter, singer, musician, uh, composer, producer, visionary, CEO of a record label Journey Music, um, pastor of Grace Central Church in what, 102 Kissinger, Kissinger Street in Westchester, Illinois. I mean, you yes. have so much in you. Uh, and thank you for just being so generous to share. We really appreciate you. Um, do me a favor, uh, just kind of, okay, I know where you're getting it situated and we're gonna end this because we- No, we good, we good. I just had to connect this to my, to my phone. Okay, we good. Okay, cool. Give us, uh, um, as a way of ending this, give us um, maybe a, a verse or something, one of your favorite songs that, have, that has brought you through, that carries you through and that continues to bless you and that blesses the people or that will bless the people. Well, you're gonna be shocked because one of my favorite songs is your will. Mm, but my favorite that. song, yeah, but my favorite song that I've learned before I started knew I was writing was this. Okay. You're not gonna believe this, but it's, Not just to kneel with the angels. Not to see loved ones who's gone. And 
and not just to drink at the fountain. Under the great white. Mm. Not for the crown that he gives. Mm. But I'm trying to run this race. All our hope up in heaven. Yes, to the old is Hallelujah. Many glad to be just to me. Oh, his name. To be whole Up in heaven Thank God for the Grammys, the Stella Awards, and all the awards, and Grace Central, and my family, and Effie, and you, and Grace Central, and Milton Bronson, and Obama, and the world. All I will up in heaven. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. It's just. Enjoy everything right here on earth. <laughs> but when I get there, I want to enjoy his Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. That was so beautiful. Now, did you write that? You did you write that? that? Did you write it? No, actually, that's a, a hymn. Oh, it is a hymn. I wasn't sure. But oh, yeah. I love wait, it. Wait, wait. And the second verse is I'll bless the hand that guided. I'll bless that hungry man. I won't rest till I see Jesus. And he takes me by my hand. My mother, my father, and my sister, and my brother, and all who have run this race mm. will be there to join in the chorus. As we all shall be whole. Hold his face. <laughs> wow, man, what a beautiful song. That is a beautiful song. And I mean, your life is testimony, beautiful, your track record, your career, your legacy. I mean, thank you for continuing the legacy of Reverend Milton Brunson and creating your own. Uh, but I mean, you, you've just given us so much. And we, wow, what an honor. Thank you for taking time. To even no, stop and talk the to Tommies, me. the the Tommies are closing the gospel fest this year. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. September third, we're literally closing the gospel fest. We're headlining the gospel fest, and it's the Tommies reunion. And somebody said, "Darius, you ain't gonna Milton Bronson." I said, "I know," and you're right. But Effie, this is what people don't understand: mm -hmm. the White House is still the White House. It's had 46 it just different changes. presidents. 46 it just presidents. changes. It just changes. Yeah, it just changes administration. It's still the White House. It still governs. It still rules. And I was sharing with people, I'm not supposed to be Milton Bronson. I'm supposed to be Darius Brooks because safe in his arms is still safe in his arms. That's the Tommies. My mind's made up. It's still the Tommies. So we're closing the Gospel Fest this year, September 3rd. Come on down to the park. You'll just enjoy some of the great music. Perfectly, Effie's there. If she is, she's coming on stage with us. Yes. Stop! And we're just going People to People don't present. realize I did sing with the Tommies for about six months, honey. And you auditioned yes, me. You and Tyrone Block auditioned yes. me. But then I got into radio. Then I got into radio. <laughs>
She left me. She left us, y'all, to do a bigger and better. Yes, sir. GCI. You oh, can't look at her now. You, you can't get no bigger than the tummies. You can't get no bigger than the tummies, honey. Because again, we still playing that music on the radio. Isn't that something we're still playing it? And honey, don't yeah. keep playing it. We're gonna keep playing it. Because it's good. Yeah, well, it's God. Well, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a classic yeah. and it's timeless. Thank music. you. But okay, so uh, Friday, uh September 3rd. I like that when you just and we all, we're closing the show, so I believe it's 8.30 to 9.30 or something like that. But it's at Millennium Park. You can go to chicago.gov, uh, Chicago, yeah, uh, 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 chicagofestival.gov, I believe that is. Just Google and Chicago Gospel Festival. And meet us down there. We also, Gospel Festival, yeah. Right, Chicago Gospel Festival. Yeah, mm -hmm. and get all the information on there. They have the fire. Uh, 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 all of the, some of the artists, uh, I know Sonia Blakey and DeAndre Patterson and, um, and Johnson a McGrunnels. lot of great artists. Jonathan McReynolds is going to be, yeah. I think. Yeah, right, right, right. Yes, I love yeah. them. Yes. Oh, yeah, so they're going to all be down there and we're going to be down there and Joe, we're just going to all enjoy Jesus together. Also, we're on the world. We'll be in Macon, Georgia in October, uh, Atlanta. Uh, the radio stations are calling us around. The hey. Yeah, it's crazy amazing. That's yeah, great. I'm so excited. But how can they I'm follow you? Honored. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. How me. can they follow you? I really, how can they follow you? Uh, Darius Brooks, DariusBrooks.com. Go to my Facebook page, Darius Brooks. Uh, you also can cash at me, the Darius Brooks, if I've been a blessing to you. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> uh, man. And so definitely, yeah, and definitely Grace Central Church. That's where really where my heart is and what I'm doing right now. The Tommy's is my uh, secondary baby. Uh, Grace Central, I know when God says give diligence to make your calling and election sure. And if you do these things, you shall never fall. So in proper context is God, the, the, my calling that he told me to do Grace Central, which is where Milton Bronson taught me too. Every Sunday, he was back in his pulpit. We sang in front of 5,000, 8,000, 10,000 people overseas Sunday morning. Mm. Milton Bronson was back in his pulpit because he said this is what god told me to do the tommy's a second christ's tabernacle and him being a shepherd was first so i learned that from him so i'm always back home on sunday but we're on the road traveling again and effie i've seen you interview marvin sap of cc winings i was just on there like i was so jealous i'm like and that's my friend see what he's so i'm just so honored that you come I, mean, I just feel like I'm somebody right now. It's and, I mean, Darius. Like, I mean, I think it's like people, I don't know. It's like I was talking to my brother. I said, This man, I said, I'm going to be interviewing Darius Brooks. I said, He has written so when I started naming the song. He's like, Oh, yeah. I mean, because he's, he's in the trucking, he's in the business. But he's like, But he remembers when we were in Arkansas, we listened to wow. WDA and we heard those songs. And he's like, Oh, wow, that's going to be good. I'm like, yes, it is. So thank wow. you. Thank wow. First Lady Deborah no. for, for allowing us <laughs> yes. to share. <laughs> <laughs> that's my that's my love. I call her wonderful now. Yeah. So you Deborah and Dasha, yeah, they've been, yeah, they they're amazing. How life. many years have you yeah. been married now? How many years? It'll be you know what's so funny? Our anniversary is September the second. Oh wow. Congratulations. So that Friday. We no, we had we gotta be home because that's the concert is that Friday. Awesome. So I can't do anything with Deborah to after Friday. But that Thursday, we're planning to do something major uh, for, to celebrate our 21st year marriage anniversary. Wow. Yeah. Oh, ain't good. Yeah. Won't he do yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> Well, Pastor, again, thank you. Uh, it's been an honor. It's been a pleasure. And I pray this won't be the last time. Hopefully next time, oh. next time we'll be in the studio, you know, with, you know, just we don't, with no technical difficulties and it'll be a one-on-one -on -one up close and personal. So I'm looking forward to God's that. willing, God's willing, not, yes, absolutely. But by then I'll have my, we'll still have a reason to do it. I'll have my book. I'll have a new CD. And the Tommies will have a new CD. Wow! Yeah, that's Effie, we're supposed to we're supposed to finish the story all the way to the end. Mm. What God says, what I start, I'll finish. So you, me, or whoever under God's voice who understand this, we got to do it till the end. 
Yes. Yeah, and you don't rest on your laurels. Mm -mm. Life is not about learning yourself. Life is about creating yourself. Mm, I love it. I love it. Till yeah. the end. Yeah, yeah. Take that with you. Yeah. That, yeah. You got to keep going till the race is finished. <laughs> yes, sir. Till the end. Yes. Till the end. Amen. Ah! Well, we look forward to whatever you've got because we believe it's all God and it's going to be good. Hello? So, yes. so we are definitely looking forward to it. Thank you again for your time. Again, Grammy Award winning singer, songwriter, producer, music director, um, a soon to be author, <laughs> Reverend Milton Brighton <laughs> Tummies, the Tummies Reunion, uh, Journey Music Group, Grace Central Church, the list goes on. Darius, you are the real deal and... What can you say? Greatness is in the room. God, thank you for, for saying so yes. Honored. Thank you for saying yes. I'm honored. Thank, thank you for asking. I'm, I'm so honored. God bless you. Darius bless Brooks, you. <laughs> what can you say? The man, the legend, <laughs> gospel music finest. God bless you. And uh, we're going to keep playing your music. And we can't wait to talk again, OK? Thank you so much. I'm honored. Love you to life. Okay. All right, God Love bless you to everybody. like more. <laughs> all right, it's Effie Roth. And again, the pleasure has been all mine. Y'all take it easy and we'll be back with some more music. Oh, yeah.